Well, hello there, Louise here with all the latest music news and there's not a cream pie wielding protester in sight. I hope. Coming up, Queen are not amused with Murdoch, Corinne Bailey Ray's back and Katie B is doing it for the girls. The establishment may be in a frenzy over Rupert Murdoch, but music royalty are pretty het up too. After the media mogul's appearance in Parliament, Queen drummer Roger Taylor has decided to re-release his really angry song, Dear Mr Murdoch. The track was originally written in the mid-90s, but old Rog has tweaked the lyrics, presumably to include a ginger-haired lady and some cream pies, and he plans to release the song on iTunes at the end of the week. Dear Mr Murdoch, you're a powerful man you control half our media whose lifeblood is scanned. I have my own version of this song. It's called Dear Mr. Murdoch, Can I Have Some of Your Money? Now, Corrine Bailey Ray, remember her? She's the one who wanted us to put our records on. Tell me your favorite song. It's been over a year since she released her last album, The Sea, which was nominated for the Mercury Music Prize. Now though, she's back and is busy working at home penning the follow-up. In an exclusive chat, corinne has been teasing us like the little minx that she is about where she's up to with her new album. I'm sure we will do some collaborations, you know, I felt like on my second record I'd learned a lot from doing the debut album and I co-produced all that album. Whereas on this, I feel like I want to learn some more. I want to work with some really interesting producers. And so, yeah, we're kind of having conversations and meetings with people at the moment, which is good. Sounds like she's being pretty productive considering she's working from home. And the skinny jean wearing, ironic hair styled musos have gathered in London to see which worthy tunesters are nominated for the Mercury Music Prize. Katie B is one of the ladies flying the flag for Women the Nation Over. She's nominated for her debut album on a mission. Is it me or doesn't she sound too bothered? It is quite surreal actually because when I started making the album, you know, I didn't, you know, I didn't ever think I'd be standing here. That's all from me. I'm off to learn to kickbox with Wendy Deng.